Whether it's your first time here or you're a regular here at Mr. Super Raz, I just want to thank you for tuning in to the channel. It exists because I, Oz, from the channel Mr. Super Oz, I wrote a 68-page graphic novel called Everlasting Survivors. Volume 1 is called All Day Long. If you follow the link in the description of this video, you can get yourself hats, shirts, posters, all kinds of fun things. But most importantly, you can get the story itself. And the more people that pick up the story, the greater the chances are that there can be continued adventures with these heroes. If you could, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Enjoy. Please, please, please tell me we open with uh, it's time to play the game. You, you, know, you know how we do. Okay, it's gotta, gotta be I, that way. I'm about to say, at this point, it's like a rule with us. Like, how, how we close the show is how we open I know, I know. Point. Dude, I, I literally thought about rebooking the open of my show with Brock Lesnar just because dude, <laughs> because that's the thing. I didn't know you were closing wrong with him, but when you did, I was like, oh, I kind of want to do that. I'm about to say he's like, working, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. But, um, yeah, we, we walk out, and it's Triple H, and uh, with his... No, no, new championship over his shoulder in the Nature Boy Ric Flair. I walk out alone, uh, so Triple H can hype up his voice. Mm -hmm. You know, he introduces what is Orton, a third generation. He is, yes, a third generation yep. wrestler, Randy Orton, yep. legacy a mile long and a river wide, or some, some yeah, something, yeah, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Batista, who was not a deacon, so he, this is the first time the audience sees Absolutely. Batista. But it's because that was a unnecessary, b stupid, and we never did it, so. He did have a funny story about that. So apparently, like he only had five hundred dollars in his pocket, mm -hmm. and like Vince told him, "Okay, you're gonna need a suit. You're gonna need to buy a nice suit." Buys this nice five hundred dollars suit. First thing they do when he gets to the arena is tear the sleeves off of it. Poor Dave, That's man. That's so Vince. <laughs> so Vince felt so bad for him. Um, but yeah, they walk out looking Jack, looking handsome as all all can be, dressed to the to the nines in their million dollar suits, which is why I told that suit story two seconds ago. Yes. Um, and tells the people that they're looking at the evolution of professional wrestling, um, and then it's it's the legitimate promo where where uh, Triple H says you can look to the past with Ric Flair and and uh, Randy is the the next diamond to, yeah. uh, the the piece of coal to be crushed crushed under diamond, diamond yeah and pressure business. and yada yada yeah all that it's yep. a great promo yeah it's just we're doing it a, a few months early but a few months early better yeah a absolutely different. yeah yeah um, but you know baby stuff. Yes. Uh, obviously, Mick is heated. Comes out, uh, first of all, says, listen, I don't appreciate how you won this world championship. However, since you are now the world champion, I do have to keep you alive in order to defend the world championship. Mm -hmm. Hence why I suspended Brock Lesnar. for, And then, like, there's a camera that goes to the back, and you just see the, com the back saying the chaos. completely wrecked. Love it. Like, not even, you don't see Brock. You don't see anything. There's just bodies. There's broken. Everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> like, you just see the aftermath, which I feel like is more powerful than in watching Brock do it. Um, but it says uh, Brock is suspended indefinitely um, after destroying most of the arena and the uh, arena they were at for Elimination Chamber. No, Jesus Christ. For the Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series. There you go. Um, Mick says Flair has been abusing his power too much. And for too long, and this is when the board of directors, represented by one Linda, don't yes. know her middle name, McMahon, comes out. Linda, all the personality of McMahon. There you go. There you go. Her uh, parents just knew. Yeah, they, 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 her they parents knew. knew. They, charisma, <laughs> charisma personified. Exactly. Um, but she, first thing she does is says, "I, representing the AEW board of directors, the first thing I would do is hereby strip Ric Flair of his presidency." Woo. Rick Flair is like <laughs> classic Rick. He's ripping off his jacket, throwing it to the ground, Whoa. dropping elbows. Yes, classic Rick. Um, and then she says, "Yeah, the board give it. The board can take it away. Big time, like it, yeah. big time." And Linda says, "And you know, we need to give it someone who's fair, just, unbiased." Mick, you won the job. <laughs> Mick happily accepts, um, which of course leaves a void. Like, yes, yeah, like. We now don't have a GM of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, they fully can't do two jobs. Well, not only that, but with this new uh, this new role, mm -hmm. he will have to oversee both shows. Exactly. He has to uh, in partake in Stephanie's uh, goings on Indeed. on SmackDown, and 
has to also lend a hand to Raw. Exactly. So it makes good sense. He, he can't do both roles. Yeah. He can't be impartial that way. Yep. And uh, and and you know, uh, my girl, my girl Linda uh, acknowledges that. So she introduces the new GM of Monday Night Raw. Does he kiss her? Because because Vince would smile if he did that. Yeah. Because he did. He yeah. booked that. He booked that crap. Yeah, he would. He would. Why did you do that, Vince? Explain he's a, yourself. He's a, he's a weird man. That is he's true. A really weird man. He wanted to be the father of his daughter's child. Yeah, but the the less I try to remember that storyline, the better. <laughs> I'm just glad she said no. Yeah, thank thank God Stephanie has good sense. Absolutely. But um, yes, the new GM, in a very similar shock and awe moment, you hear the "I'm back" and better, better than, than ever. ever. Eric Bischoff is the new general manager. I want him to hug Monday Linda Night so big. And he's just got this big grin on his face. Of the whole course. audience is they're they're not booing, they're not cheering, they're just like Yeah, shock. I, this is this is you, Undertaker losing at WrestleMania just levels of shock. Love it. Actually I could probably just use the actual moments. Absolutely. So the the first thought that popped in my head when Ric Flair is standing in the ring, losing his mind. Yeah. Is fire me. I'm already fired. I'm already fired. Fired me. I'm already fired. <laughs> Love it. Oh, so good. Legend. Um, and of course, uh, Eric, big grin, hugs, hugs Linda. Linda's like, stop touching me. Yeah, exactly. Stop I don't want me. that. Stop yeah. touching me. <laughs> so he goes to shake Mick's hand. Mick just says, nah. And he says, ah, you want to hug too. Exactly. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you did that. Yeah. Yeah, because in ECW, Mick Foley would tell Tommy Dreamer to, mm. to, to accept the warm, loving embrace of Uncle Eric. Yeah. And so I love that Eric gave him that warm, Lord, loving embrace. That he's always wanted. Ah, so good. Um, but yeah, so the first uh, move of Bischoff, because you know, Bischoff's all about that that dollar, dollar bill, that money. What What's going to make money? Yes. The new world champion in action tonight. Maybe with his new, yeah, obviously. Maybe oh, maybe. Perfect. Yes, with his new with his new stable and tow. Yeah, but you know that's that's four people, man. That's an eight man tag. So we gotta we gotta get a star studded event. You know, something to really christen me as a general manager. Oh well, dude, this is exciting, man. So like, I like Eric, and this is this is exciting because he 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 did come into his GM role mm-hmm. wanting to uh, uh, make waves. Yeah, and so you're keeping that alive. Yeah, you know me, you know me. But um, so obviously Rick. Sorry, Eric says, you know, Rick, I know you just got fired, but, you know, I'm such a great guy. I'm giving. <laughs> I'm going to give you a wrestler's contract. Congrats. You're back in the ring, baby. <laughs> Rick, of course, more heated than he was before because now <laughs> not only does he have no power, but now he's just a wrestler again. Yes. God, this is heartbreaking. But, so, speaking of heartbreaking, the opponents for the night will be Triple H's best friend, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. The man he went went to war with last night, the United States champion, Christian. How is Sean going to walk? The, 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 the questions we ask. The questions we ask. Don't worry. All, all will be answered later tonight in the main event. Um, you also have John C- Man, good job, Oz. Good. And then the man who crushed Triple H's larynx. Oh, yeah. Of Rob course. Yes. Van Dam. Yes. It's all coming full circle. Love it. And that is... The first probably thirty minutes of Raw. Yeah, that was a lot. Of I mean, we went eight minutes there. Yeah. Uh, just with that. Yeah. But Actually, no, that's, that's all really good stuff. I, I'm a big fan of uh, of the progress that you've made. Thank you. Um, I was I was curious because we'd already talked about the idea of Easy E mm-hmm. sliding into that role. Yeah, but uh, no. Rick moving out, Mick and, and moving it, up, all that. And it had to it had to be logical too. I couldn't just like you know do it. Yeah, of course. I mean, we could have, but we're not Vince. Of course. So. Like it, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it, I think all of it, all the pieces fit perfectly into place. Yeah, and since you know it's both our universe, I had to make sure it was something you would agree to, as well. So. For sure. No, I'm a big fan. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad that we waited to bring up Randy and Dave. Yeah, yeah, because bringing them up earlier, like Randy had that weird thing with Stacy and Vince. Yep. It was just just bad. He had a bunch of pointless matches with Bob Holly, Brock Lesnar. All went nowhere, so it's like, we, yeah. why not just wait and do the right thing at the right time? Yeah. So we did. Yep, so that's exactly what we did. Um, so, so much happened in the beginning, so I forgot that I do have the rest of the show to book. Absolutely. So, um, we start off cooling it down a little bit. Nice backstage interview with our boy, Shane Helms. Yes. Ace reporter. Um, and basically, Shane 
has guessed hardcore advice. Um, but uh, Raven's paying absolutely no attention to him. He's sitting over here berating Dreamer and Richards for losing and making him look bad. Which is hilarious because he lost because the he game, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hence, hence the comedy is just never oh, ending. Of course, yeah. No, it's very, it's very Raven. Yeah, it's that, very, that's so Raven, if you will. That's so Raven. <laughs> Classic. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that is. Molly, obviously, after pinning the champion, comes out and says, Hey, I pinned the champion. I feel like I should have the next championship match. I can't disagree with it. Yes, and of course the Black Widow Society comes out and in classic Victoria fashion, she says, absolutely not. Matt. Yes, that, uh, that is her go-to thing. Yes, I don't care. But we'll have more to say about that next week. Um, next up, next segment, we have uh, Billy in the bathroom. Uh, he is unfortunately out of toilet paper, the poor guy. <laughs> what's, what's a man to do? He's over here panicking. He doesn't know how he's going to... That's a place you don't want to be. That, that's the worst position a man could be. But Goldust, there for him. Right when he needs... Just like Jake from State Farm. There with a roll of toilet paper says, I got you, buddy. I'm here for you. And just think, just like I'm here for you now, I can be here for you each and every week as your tag team partner. Billy happily accepts the roll of toilet paper, <laughs> but still refuses Goldust's offer. Oh, that's great. Um, Let's see, what else? Next, uh, we have the Dudleys giving props to Too Cool for being a phenomenal tag team, but just another stepping stone in the great legacy of the Dudley Boys. Wait, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Are Too Cool out there, or are they cutting the pro- uh, Dudleys cutting the promo nope. by themselves? Cutting the promo by themselves. Just checking, because yeah. uh, when I imagined them there, it gave me uh, Hardys versus Edge and Christian vibes from their first ladder match, their uh, Terry Invitational Tournament, yeah. if you will. Um, but it also felt... Unlikely due to the uh, the the uh, shipping. Well the, well, the shipping box too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, nobody's seen Rikishi since Good. actually, and Scotty is very much hospitalized. But yes, so, makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um. So Dudley's, of course, having won against one of the best teams in Raw history. Actually, scratch that. One of the best teams in AEW history. Yes. Dudley's challenge uh, for the tag titles next week. Cool. And then, finally, our main event of the evening. Can I say something before you get to yeah, the main event? So it feels like an extra justification for Jericho and Kane to have defeated two former ECW World Champions now that they are being challenged by ECW legends. The, the, the ECW tag team. Absolutely. Yeah, so I thought that I thought that had some symmetry to it. Thank you. Thank you. That was, that was my thought process at the time because I'm like, well, I know I want them to feud with the Dudleys, but I feel like... What's well, it's hilarious. So I've been actually booking the last, or not the last, the next three months backwards. Yeah. No, no. Whatever. I've been booking backwards. I know so, what you meant. So I was like, oh, I know what I want to happen here, but how do I get there? So yeah. I've been doing it backwards. Yeah. Because um, that's booking so, one-on-one. Absolutely. Yeah. It works out. works out perfectly. But, um, yeah, so your main event. So, um, of course, I completely forgot this until I looked it up. But uh, apparently Orton's hurt, um, and I completely forgot he was hurt. Really? really? Yeah, his shoulder was dislocated at this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he he was out for a while. So his uh, involvement in this match is Christian fighting him to the back. And uh, we don't see either one of them again. That's cool. So that way he didn't wrestle. Yeah, that's, that's good. So, so yeah. adhering to the rules. Absolutely smart. Um, let's see. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of back and forth, a lot of yada yada. But the, the main thing I want to get across in this segment is is that John Cena turns heel, nailing Rob Van Dam with a low blow and an FU. Uh, sorry, nailing Rob with a low blow, hitting an FU on Shawn Michaels. Cool. And Triple H, with the coward's cover, just crawls real slow, like think Booker T, WrestleMania 19. <laughs> and so it took, drapes, about, it took him about an hour and a half to get three, there. Three to four days yes. at minimum. <laughs> drapes an arm over Shawn Michaels and gets the one, two, three. And smiles the whole way home. Oh, I like it. Cool. Over his old friend, Orton comes back out with the shoulder hanging off. So we're like, we did it. We did it. We did it. I escaped Christian. I like it. Oh, that's smart. And then uh, Batista, of course, hoists Triple H up on his shoulders. Start that early. Getting that nice Get and that early. visual in there. Yeah. Rick, Rick hands Triple H the title. He holds off Evolution. Love standing it. tall, going off there. Oh.